desperate to see the kingdom of God break into our lives. We cry out to you with all the One of the striking things about Jesus' ministry is that it was intentionally public. We see that Jesus didn't just live a contemplative life hidden from public view, but that at God's timing, He went out into the public, He was among the people, and He intentionally launched a public ministry. Uh, we see Jesus at one point, and we've already looked at that uh, here in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus sending out the twelve. Now here in Luke 10, we see Jesus sending out 70 others. So this would have been 82 preachers and prophets and healers uh, who Jesus specifically commissioned. Uh, we can see some significance in these numbers. Of course, the number 12 signifies the 12 tribes of Israel. And so it speaks of governmental authority. The other thing is that the 70, and many scholars have wondered what the 70 means. This is 70 others, and so it's, it's an extension we see that Isaiah teaches us that the kingdom of God, the government of God, is an ever-increasing government. It's an ever-increasing kingdom. Uh, the angel Gabriel told Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, that his kingdom would never end. It would be a, a kingdom without end. And so here Jesus is commissioning 70 others with his authority, giving them power over the, over the enemy, giving him power over the evil one and they came back rejoicing and that caused Jesus to rejoice. Jesus rejoices when he sees that his governmental authority is being passed on to people of faith. What we see is that as disciples we are called to live a lifestyle of not only dependency upon the Lord Jesus Christ but to receive a kingdom, to receive authority and be sent out with his commission into the world. One of the striking things is how he sent them out. He sent them out without anything, just without props, just absolutely dependent upon God. And so we see that the Christian life, many times we want to make excuses to God. Well, I can't serve you because I don't have enough money. I don't have enough education. I don't have a seminary degree. I don't, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that. And we make excuses to God. And here we see Jesus just sending out his disciples. They've barely been with him for not that long, uh, maybe almost three years now, which does seem like a long time. They have been with the teacher, Jesus. But he commissions them and he anoints them. He sends them out with his authority. And they come back with stories of signs and wonders. And we see that the Christian life is a life of signs and wonders. I see a... a, a connection between this and Numbers chapter 11 where Moses anointed 70 others with, uh, with the same spirit. God said, I'm going to take the spirit that's upon you, Moses, and put it upon 70 others. And here we see Jesus doing the same thing. Uh, he's taking his anointing, his authority, his spirit, and he's giving them authority to do the things that he does. And so we see that there's a parallel here. Jesus is obviously greater than Moses because he's God in human flesh. But there is a transference of the kingdom. Jesus said, the same works that I do, you shall do, and greater works shall you do because I'm going to my Father. And so Jesus rejoices when he sees that we are stepping out in faith and believing him well, we don't have anything. In fact, he tells us to go out, don't depend on things to do my ministry, depend on me. And when we do that, he sends us out as sheep in the midst of wolves, but he gives us wisdom uh, and protection. And the Christian life is a supernatural life. And so as we look at this scripture tonight in Luke, I want you to just allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you, to teach you, and to encourage you to be sent out by our Lord Jesus the same way that these 70 were sent out. Another interesting thing some scholars have seen in this passage in Luke chapter 10 is the significance of the number 70. In the book of Genesis chapter 10, we see a table of nations, 70 nations listed in, in Genesis 10. And so many people have said that the number 70 also refers to the nations. Well, we see in Jesus sending out the twelve, he sent them out first to the lost sheep of Israel. So the twelve tribes of Israel, he sends twelve out. 
So that speaks of the gospel being to the Jew first. Here we see him sending out 70. And even though their ministry here was primarily to the Jews, and they went to Jewish cities primarily, still the number 70 speaks not only of eldership and of impartation of authority, but it speaks of the nations, is that the gospel is meant for the whole world. And so when we think about the nations, today we have, we have many nations on the earth. We see that the heart of God is that Christians are sent out with His authority to all nations and so we need to go. The Christian faith is one that causes us not just to sit but to go.